hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is miracle to my new and old subscriber thank you so much for stopping by please are you watching and you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe like share and comment and also turn on your notification bell to be notified any day anytime a new video is being uploaded in today's video i'll be showing you how i make the best homemade plum chap so guys keep watching and let's get started this is how the plum fruit looks like plum is a sweet juicy fruit with a tiny smooth skin surrounding rock like pets it can be large or small it has a lot of health benefits and also it can be used in so many ways and we have so many ways of making them transfer in a bowl and wash properly so i added some salt to it you can as well use white vinegar make sure you give it a properly wash i wash it for like two to three times until i am done so next as you can see we are done now go ahead and cut and deseed the plum so i'll be repeating this process until i am done deseeding all the plums Looking at it here, you can see we are done the seeding the plum. So next, go ahead and cut into pieces. Yeah, this process will enable the plum to cook fast. So I'll be repeating the same process until I am done using them up. <laughs> now we are done with the cuttings yeah so next i went ahead to weigh the plums and sugar this process helped me know the quantity of sugar that will be adding for some people they add equal measurement they got from the plums to the sugar yeah but for me i will not be adding that because i don't want it sugary but sometimes it depends on the type of plums you are using whether it is right or unright but i'm using the right one and it is the best to use okay for the plums i got 1247 kilograms now it is time to measure out the sugar so what we are going to be using here is 300 kilogram yeah but this is totally optional you can as well skip this method and go straight away and start making your jam next transfer them in a large pot go ahead and add the sugar mix until it is well combined once that is done cover the pot with the lid on and let it rest for three hours yeah or you can as well do that overnight for the sugar to melt or produces more juice this is optional after some hours later you can see the plant had produced its own juice now transfer to your cooker and cook on a medium heat bring the fruits to a gentle simmer keep stirring occasionally 
cover with lid on until the fruit is soft. Now you can see the plum is getting thicker. So scoop up the foam that rises to the surface. When the plum gets softer and the jam looks thick just like this, this should take 15 to 30 minutes or so. Yeah. As long as it concerns food, as long as it concerns kitchen, as long as the jam is cooked now. You can as well add lemon juice to it. So here I am not adding any lemon juice, okay? This is optional. It is time to check for doneness. Place a small amount on a plate. Once it is not running down, it is done. Because the more you leave it there, the more thicker it becomes, okay? Look at it here. You will know that it is probably done. And take it off the cooker. Once it gets cold, it becomes more thicker. Yeah. So now we are done. Can you see how beautiful and nice this homemade plum jam look? Wow. Enjoy in whichever way you prefer. So now I will be tasting my with my toast bread. Tested so super delicious, honestly. Your homemade is the best, yeah. Hope you try out this recipe and let me know what you think in the comment section. You can chill your jam, store it in the fridge or eat it within a few weeks or you can process it in a jar to store at room temperature for several months. And we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. And remember, bless. Bye.